How's it going, everybody? New Age here with another Pokemon Showdown Lantern session. And today is most definitely Sunday. And you know what that means Pokemon of the Week over on Serebii. <laughs> and uh, this week, we, <laughs> we are using Incineroar. Um, we used the Sigivi, now we're using Incineroar. Who knows what we'll use next week? I don't know. But, uh, I got a choice banded Incineroar team. Pretty cool stuff. This, again, was just another team that I just took from someone. Because I'm, I'm a thief, I'm a stealer. I take Pokemon from people. Um, and I tested it out a few times. Uh, and I changed a few things. The only thing I really changed was Nihiligo had uh, Hidden Power Ice on it instead of Hidden Power Ground. I changed it to Hidden Power Ground just because these three moves have nothing to hit Steel Pokemon. So if I want to do damage or try and sweep late game against Steel Pokemon, I can't. And that really sucked. I would have done Hidden Power Fire, but I mean, I guess I could do Hidden Power Fire because this, is, this isn't Pokebank, so Heatran's not in here at the moment. Yeah, let's do Hidden Power Fire. I feel like that's better. Ferrothorn isn't in here either. I think the only real thing is like Scizor and stuff. I actually want to check. I actually want to check out the Steel Pokemon real quick. So... Yeah, I mean... I guess... To hit Magnezone. But then I can't hit... Well, I don't need to hit Skarmory. And Metagross. No, I think I'll go with Hidden Power Fire still because that lets me take care of, uh, okay, whoops. Lets me take care of Scizor for sure. Um, and, uh, Nihiligo's special attack is pretty high, so Hidden Power Fire will do a decent amount to Magnezone either way, if not finish it off. And this would be like kind of a late game thing anyway, so we would just have to weaken Magnezone beforehand. Um, anyways. Next, uh, we got, oh, the things that were changed. Uh, HP Fire from HP Ice. Um, and this Scizor slot was actually a Cloyster, but uh, Mega Metagross just kind of went crazy on my team and I almost lost to it. So I realized I have no Steel Switch-ins. So this is what Scizor is for. Rocky Helmet Scizor instead of Mega Scizor, just because Rocky Helmet, this set in itself doesn't let me beat steel Pokemon necessarily uh, but something like Rocky Helmet could help me out with beating that I could do superpower over pursuit I actually don't think I can because of uh, Pokebank and stuff but yeah I decided to go with Rocky Helmet uh, just because it helps me wall like physical attackers this is my like second physical wall I guess over Cloyster Cloyster I didn't really see the point it was a cool mod to have but I didn't see the point um, so yeah we got Choice Bandit Incineroar. We have Choice Scarf Nihiligo, like a special attacking offensive. We have a Zap Plate Tapu Koko. I changed, uh, it had Hidden Power Ground. I changed it to U-Turn, because I like that better, because Tapu Koko forces switches like crazy. It's ridiculous. Uh, we got Delmize, specially defensive uh, with Rapid Spin. I don't know what this four defense is for, but whatever. Uh, and then we have another defensive mon as well as our stealth rocker with uh, Necrozma with Thunder Wave as well. I really like Thunder Wave because it's good speed control for Incineroar since Incineroar is not very fast even though we have max speed investment. And then again the Rocky Helmet Scizor. So that is the squad. Let's find us a game. Alright we got a game against a Mimikyu. I hate battling Mimikyus. It's so sketchy. Just because they, like, guarantee get that turn to set up and you can't really stop it. Um, other than that, his team is not extremely offensive other than Nihiligo, but we do have Bullet Punch and our own Scarf Nihiligo for that. Unless his is a Scarf too, then, you know, we'll have to see what happens. In which case, Hidden Power Ground would be good against that. Well, I have Psychic to hit it, never mind, so... Anyways, anyways, uh, I don't know who his lead is either if it's like Mudsdale or Persian um, Let's see Mudsdale or Persian 
It was good against Mudsdale. I don't really have anything for Mudsdale, actually. Like, I really, really do not. Do I just lose to Mudsdale? That's kind of scary. And every time it gets hit, its defense goes up, too. I think I'm just going to lead Necrozma. Um, as he could lead Persian, I guess, yeah. But I can paralyze this thing, too, and there's no way it just knocks me out. Right off the bat. And Prism Armor is not, like, multi-scale. It halves the damage, so... Not, uh... Oh, it doesn't have the damage. Take three force. Okay. Well, either way, that does nothing, and he doesn't have, like, Fake Out or anything, so... We get to Paralyze the Persian, and we're gonna get up our rocks now, too. As he goes for the parting shot, that doesn't really matter. Is this? No. I wonder if this is Joey's team. Or one of Joey's teams. I keep getting teams that I think are like... From Joey's. Oh! I don't want to play another video by accident. How did I even get to that video? Okay. So he's going out into Mimikyu here. Um... I definitely just want to go Scizor, because for one, I have the Rocky Helmet, and two, it's not going to do that much to me. So, let me see real quick. I want to try and find... Oh, I didn't mean to push play at all. Okay. This is always fun to do in the middle of a, a battle. So, this is either a, a Pers the Persian team or the... Um, or the Mudsdale team. I'm going to check right now. And against him, I think, I actually just want to pursue because, yeah, if he switches, it breaks his disguise. And if he stays in, um, it doesn't matter. He can't touch me anyways. So that was definitely worth getting that off here. Um, and I kind of want to go Delmize just because I want to block the rapid spin that he might go for. And also, I feel like I don't need Delmize. And I'm gonna hang on to it anyways. Even if he gets off the rapid spin, I'm gonna go Necrozma because I could paralyze him and get the rocks off again. Or rocks up again. Um, and here, let's see. I actually want to go for Moonlight again in case he wants to switch. Um, I want to keep Necrozma healthy. Just keeping my walls healthy, you know? Okay, let's check this out. So there's the Mudsdale team, and where's the Alola Pershing team? Pershan, there you go. Let's see. Let's see what we're working with. I was. These are the team builders. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Wow, I can't even search a channel, right? Alright, so let's see what he's going for. He's going for Flash Cannon again. Uh, I guess trying to get the special defense drops. So I'm going for Thunder Wave then. I could paralyze this thing. That'd be cool. As we get to paralyze the Nihiligo, so not bad. Um, and this thing is... Leftovers, so he might have rocks of his own. I'm gonna go for Psy Shot because it hits on the defensive, and that thing just dies. Nice! So, no potential rocks for him. I'm still trying to search this video. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna have the team beat by then, it's not even gonna matter. Alright, so he's going out into Mimikyu. Um, again, I'm just going Scizor as he doubles. It, that is not a double that matters. Okay, yeah, he forfeit. <laughs> I'm like, what? But why did he forfeit? He made the right double, but at the same time it didn't matter because I just went back out into my Necrozma and recovered. I do need to know though, which, okay, yeah, it's definitely not the Persian team. I forgot he had a Mega Scizor on that. And it's also not the Mudsdale team. Okay. I don't know why I thought it looked familiar, but anyways... We take the first game. I'm pretty sure we definitely had that one, especially because, like I said, when I noticed, when I saw his team right away, I noticed he didn't really have, like, very strong offensive Pokemon. They were all kind of, like, 
mid-level kind of good Pokemon, other than the Heligo. Everything else is just kind of meh. But whatever, let's find us another game. Also, I really liked, um, I didn't realize that either, uh, Rocky Helmet Defensive Scissor is a really good Mimikyu counter. So that was cool. Um, this game I'm really scared of because there are some things on here that I haven't necessarily had to deal with before. Uh, one of them being Porygon. Uh, Tapu Lele is always scary. Kartana is scary and Mega Gyarados is scary. A lot of things are scary on this team. Um, I think Tapu Koko just does amazing once I get rid of Doug Trio, if I can make that happen somehow. Um, but I think I want to lead Necrozma. I don't know who his lead is, if it's Doug Trio or what. If his lead is Doug Trio, then that's not as good. But also, I don't know who is how he gets rid of hazards on his team. He actually leads Kartana. I'm pretty sure this thing can't knock me out. I'm gonna Thunder Wave. Yeah. So getting this thing paralyzed is really great. Um, and I'm just gonna Stealth Rock here. Oh no! Okay, well, that sucks. And it doesn't knock us out. Oh, never mind. So he does have a dark move. I don't know what it is. Why did that not knock us out? What the heck? Oh my gosh. I like how Leaf Blade did. <laughs> like, almost did more than the dark move. Okay. Um, I think I want to go out into Incineroar here. I don't like how weakened Necrozma is, but whatever. As he goes out into Duck Trio, I don't know if he predicted that. But that is unfortunate for us. Um, I feel like this doesn't even knock me out. Duck Trio is so weak. Like, is it just, I don't know. I used it in game and it was horrible. Okay, he forfeits. Well, I wanna know anyways. I'm gonna assume it's Jolly. Does Earthquake knock us out? Yeah, it's a roll for Jolly to knock us out. I mean, he could have been adamant. Even adamant it's a roll to knock us out. <laughs> I mean, 87%, but still, like, see, that's what I'm talking about. The trio is hella weak. But whatever, let's find another game. All right, we got another game against, I don't know if this is trying to be stall. This is scary though. Buzzwool, Nihiligo, all these guys. Is it just me or does Buzzwool look like really out of place in Showdown? I don't know if it's just because they made it small or what. Anyways, uh, let's see. Hmm. I kind of just want to lead Tapu Koko. He doesn't have anything for it. Even if he leads Nihiligo, I can switch. I can get off a bolt switch and then switch after that. Um, I don't know what he wants to do with Sableye. I'm definitely just going to go for Dazzling Gleam. I don't care what he wants to do. Get the timer on this man! I should just bolt switch, honestly. There's, there should be no reason for him to stay in. I'm gonna Volt Switch. Even if he does stay in, I'm just gonna go out into Incineroar after that because he can't burn me. So he actually stays in, which is uh, interesting. Um, but I do have Incineroar. He can't burn me. I resist the dark move like ridiculously and I, I'm just gonna U-turn here. If he wants to switch, he can. Otherwise, I'm going back out into uh, Tapu Koko. I don't know why people think like they can stay in against something like that. Like I'm pretty sure I didn't one shot him just because I'm not life orb. But still. Like that wasn't worth it. Oh my gosh, that does so much. Alright, we're going back into Tabu Coco since he's staying in. Um, and he's just gonna recover. And here I'm just gonna dazzle and gleam. I mean Yeah. I don't care. I feel like Tapu Koko is fine against his team. Check 
Okay. Oh, that actually... Okay. Well, let's see how much Thunderbolt does then. I don't know if it'll do more or what, but... He's gonna switch Nihiligo into this Thunderbolt. It's gonna do a ton. Um, if... He has no other Rocker on his team, so I don't think he's Scar, so I'm gonna Thunderbolt again. As he's gonna go down my eyes. There we go. And uh, we're just gonna U-turn here. Not bad. And uh, <laughs> I think we can go Scizor here. I'm pretty sure Delmize can't really touch us. Um, if it's a Leech Seed one, that'd be kind of annoying. But other than that, we should be chill. And we can U-turn out. I like the momentum this team has, especially with adding Scizor. It kind of didn't have much momentum because, like, Tapu Koko only had Volt Switch at the when I first got this team. And Incineroar had U-turn as well. But... You kind of want Incineroar to be, well I want to because I'm trying to show off Incineroar, I want it to be more of a sweeper. Uh, so I'm not just going to bring it in constantly, which you wouldn't really do anyways because it's choice banded so it's meant to punch holes in the team. So we're going to get off the U-turn here. Uh, I think he's specially defensive, so I'm going to go into my Incineroar and just Flare Blitz the crap out of this thing. Let's see some damage. <laughs> He can definitely switch, <laughs> but I don't know if he's expecting to just try and recover here, like if I go for U-turn or something, because clearly like he's thinking that he walls my team. Yep. Get out of here, Sableye. Not too shabby. Alright, so he's going to go into Nihiligo now. Um, I feel like Necrozma is good, right? This isn't my specially defensive mon, but I don't know. Let's see. Oh, he's going to get up his rocks. Okay. Well, I'm going to Thunder Wave here. I don't know if he's going to go like Tapu Koko or something. Or just try and hit me. But the problem is he also has a spin blocker on his team. Okay, so we get off the Thunder Wave. We're going to get up our rocks now. And then if he does get an attack off, we're just going to recover again. Try and get some more HP. Honestly, we could just knock him out. So he shouldn't be staying in. But... I don't want to let... I mean, what do I really need this for? It's nice to, like, weaken things later on. So... I'm kind of waiting for him to get paralyzed. TBH. It'd be nice if he did it now, because then I could knock him out. Thank you! Hey, so Necrozma ends up at like full HP, basically. Yeah, I really don't know why he left that in there, but it's all good. We knocked that man out! Necrozma is a weird Pokemon. I really like it though. Alright, so he's gonna go into Delmize here. Um, I don't care if he rapid spins because I can get up my rocks again. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave because I want my Delmize to have an advantage over his, basically. Um, and here, I'm gonna go into Scizor instead of Delmize because I need to get rid of his Delmize before my Delmize can rapid spin, is basically what I'm thinking. Especially because my Delmize has an advantage over the rest of his team. So here, I'm gonna Pursue. Yep, get out of here. So Delmize is gone. So I can get rid of my rocks whenever I want, and this dude is getting played like a polka flute. <laughs> I just came up with that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna U-turn here. He's gonna bulk up. That's scary, actually. Um, let me check this out. Got a buzz wool. Yeah, this thing's special defense is absolutely garbage so that being said uh, I actually want to check and see what it resists and what it's weak to just because the bug fighting is throwing me off uh, it is weak to fairy and psychic okay because I'm thinking about 353. 
Dang, 353? Because I kind of want to go into Heligo and just go for Psychic. I was thinking Psychic or Dazzling Gleam. I didn't know which one to go for. Uh, it's also weak to fire, but it's boosting its defense. So I'm going to go into Heligo. And we are going to fire off a Psychic. Ha! Oh my gosh, it lived. It taunted me? Hello? <laughs> nah. I'm offensive, bro. Get with it. He can definitely switch here, but if he switches, Buzzwall is not a threat anymore. He loses his defense boost. He takes damage from rocks when he comes in, and he is fairly slow, so. Buzzwall gets Nina knocked out. Slowbro is definitely the answer here, the key. And Slowbro means we can go into Delmize and Rapid Spin. Unless he's like, I don't know. I should change this to Assault Vest. Like, why isn't this just Assault Vest? If it's gonna be my special defense answer, then let's make it such. I'd rather have that than Leftovers. Because what if he had Fire Blast here? And he crit me with Psy Shock. He could still have Fire Blast. I don't know. I should be faster though. You don't run speed on Silver. He does have Fire Blast, see? See? <laughs> And we would have taken it better. Alright, so we're going for Power Whip here. Because that's what the ballers do. Um, I'm just going to Psyc Delmize here. Because I'm pretty sure we can beat Tapu Koko. Nihiligo can definitely take a hit and just knock it out with Sludge Wave. If not, we still have five other Pokemon to go through. So, damn! That crit back! Get... Critted, son. Actually, we're just gonna go into Heligon now and uh, wrap it up. Sledge Wave will knock this out, and then we knock out Nihiligo with our boosted, or we knock out uh, Tapu Koko with our boosted Nihiligo. And that is what they call a wrap. Let's see it. Let's see it happen. Oh! Give us the boosty boosty. Hey. Hey, also, I don't think he knows we're scarfed. Oh, he's scarfed. But it doesn't matter. Oh, it paralyzed me! Oh! Okay, well, that's annoying. <laughs> he said, hey, GG. Okay, well. He only has Thunderbolt, but we're gonna send in our Tapu Koko to take Thunderbolts. Which does more? I guess Thunderbolt does more. I could have knocked him out, but I guess they don't want to make it that easy. I'm basically having Tapu Koko out to wait for the terrain to go away, so his Thunderbolt is not as strong, and then just knock him out with something else that we have. Uh, he's Scarf, not Spec, so Thunderbolt should not be ridiculously strong. I don't know what he's doing here. He can literally only click Thunderbolt. You better not be trying to stall out the timer either. He has one Pokemon, just Thunderbolt. You know what to do. Come on, steady. There you go. Oh my gosh, it does so much. Hey, but we'll do just as much back. We actually did more because we're Zap Plate. Oh, get out of here. Our Tapu beats other Tapus. Not bad. Let's get one more. All right, we got one last game against a Sharpedo. And a Porygon. I'm not a fan of the Porygon. We do have our new and improved Assault Vest Delmise though. So, I don't know, we'll see. Whatever that means. <laughs> um, I wanna lead Necrozma, because last time I went Mamoswine against Necrozma, I won. While I was testing this team, that is. Um, I'm just gonna go straight for a Psy Shock, because I wanna beat this thing. And here, I don't know if he's like the others, and we'll switch right now. I'm gonna go Thunder Wave in case he wants to try and preserve this thing. If he's Life Orb though, that's bad because I think he can 2 AK on me. Even though I'm insanely max defense. I'm as defense as I can be. Start the timer here. 
Hey, let's catch the Sharpedo. Oh! <laughs> Your boy just got paralyzed. All right. All right. We are sitting pretty now. We're going to go Scizor here. Mostly just a U-turn on him. I mean, if he wants to attack her. Oh my gosh, that did so much. Jeez. Scizor. Bro. I could have swore you were more defensive than that. Okay, luckily, like, that was a roll. So, he's gonna go out into Skarmory. Um, what, what is this gonna do? I'm actually curious. I'm gonna U-turn to see- Okay, yeah, he's gonna spikes. Because um, I want to see if he's Rocky Helmet at Leftovers. It appears he's Leftovers. So... <sighs> hmm. See, I can't Rapid Spin yet, either. He also does not have a switch to Incineroar. But I don't want to go Incineroar right now. You know what, let's go Incineroar right now! We're gonna take all this damage from Hazards. And his Sturdy is intact now, but he doesn't have a Flare Blitz switch in. And after this, um, we can just Revenge Kill Skarmory. If he stays in. If! a big ol' if. 541 attack. <laughs> Damn you strong! Let's get the burn and knock him out. Okay, well that didn't happen. Uh, he lets us keep our Incineroar though, so that's cool. Um, I don't think we're faster than this, but you Pursuit is all I have to hit him with. Yeah, we're not. Okay. So, I'm just gonna roost here. Unfortunately... We kind of sacked our Incineroar then. Because he whirlwinded, which was a good play on his part. Um, I'm just gonna pursue. Okay. What, why is he doing that? Uh, this is annoying. So here, I have to go Delmize. Like, I don't care if he wants to go into his own Delmize. I'm just gonna Shadow Claw expecting that. Like, come on now. That's way too obvious, dude. Now, here's the thing. If we win a speed tie, we knock him out. If we lose a speed tie... Yeah, I, I can't risk losing the speed tie, actually. Because there are way too many hazards on our field right now. So I'm gonna go Scizor, he will die to Rocky Helmet if he touches me. And uh, Delmize is gone. So now we are free to Rapid Spin, even though our team is very weak right now. Um, and I'm just gonna Bullet Punch, <clears throat> get off some kind of damage on this thing. And he is Life Orb. I'm just gonna go Delmize. Actually, you know what? I wasn't even thinking. Hidden Power Fire should knock us out, especially since he's Life Orb. Oh, it doesn't! Assault Vest coming in clutch! Hey, get all these hazards out of here. Oh, thank you, Delmize. You are a champ. I'm just gonna Shadow Claw here. You can knock us out. Take more uh, Life Orb damage, and here... Alright, let's see. I really want to go into Heligo and, like, Power Gem. Yeah. I feel like that'll put me in a good position. Even if he wants to go Skarmory. I mean, I can knock this thing out. He's gotta assume I'm Scarf, right? Or Nah. Okay. Or Nah is more like it. Um, I feel like this will knock out anything he wants to go out into. Or to it KO Skarmory. Uh, let's see. Skarmory shouldn't have an actual move to hit me, just whirlwind me out. Oh my gosh. Oh, you made a big mistake, boyo. You made a big mistake, boyo! <laughs> oh, it's too late. The sweep, it's over, it's a wrap. Porygon. Do you see my special attack, bro? <laughs> that was literally the worst play. Woo! <laughs> I love Nihelago. I don't need to ever do a Pokemon of the week, Nihelago, because every week 
is Pokemon of the Week for Nihiligo. Alright guys, so that's gonna be the uh, ladder in sesh. I, damn. Nihiligo is starting to become one of my favorite Ultra Beasts for sure. Favorite Pokemon, we'll see. But, I love Nihiligo. That's so much fun. <laughs> but guys, hopefully you enjoyed the live. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.